for the second day of Vlogmas, my art content will be a terrible beast encounter. Roll up. All right, so same setup as last time where I will be rolling from this basic list. Now I don't have a complete list like I do for characters, so this is going to be a combination of this list and D&D and, and Beyond and maybe a random generator. So for monsters, I have them split up between a couple of different lists, so today we're going to be doing a D10. What do we have? Plant. What is their natural environment? A D12. Underwater. Alignment is chaotic good. A chaotic good underwater plant. I was looking at the wrong thing. No. All right. Okay. So, oh, so no underwater plants. All right. Try it again. So five. A giant. All right. That, that sounds a little better. A giant where? A giant what? A giant. Roll again. Giant. Forest giant. Right. There are quite a few of these. And what? Alignment, a lawful, neutral, giant. All right, so we're gonna draw a Woodwode. And with all that, we are drawing a Woodwode, a legacy monster, whatever that means. I've never heard of it before. So let's make that line art. Just kidding, I'm lying. Doing a paint style instead, because that is easier than drawing bark texture. Now, a lot of artists out there are super great at drawing bark texture, like Groot and whoever else, but I'm not that good yet. I'm working on it. I'm not there. So anyway, a Woodwoad is apparently this plant giant that used to be a person who, for whatever reason, willingly sacrificed their life, body, and personhood to become this plant giant with the sole purpose of doing whatever the ritual caster wants, usually guarding a special forest area or druid circle or, or something. It's pretty extreme druid type stuff. I'm not sure if the person's soul is necessarily bound in the wood woad, but the woad is definitely created from their body, like carve out the heart, stick it in a tree, and bury the rest in the roots. But it's totally consensual, and that's a very important part of it. It is a lawful neutral creature, after all. No tricking in either direction, as far as I can tell. That's not what lawful neutral is all about. Though the wood boat itself isn't a person, uh, they have no aspirations, just that drive to protect woodsy things or whatever is told them to do by whoever sacrificed them, pretty much. Conveying scale and implying some kind of story elements can be tricky when drawing a giant like this. So I had the grand thought in the scribbles of this big guy taking away an axe from somebody. Gingerly. This giant just very gingerly taking it away with two fingers is like, I love that imagery. And also, these things are very difficult to read because they are not people. They're barely humanoid. Uh, the only thing that implies any kind of peopleiness is the, the general form sometimes, and like the two lights that represent eyes, or maybe lightning bugs. In my opinion, druid folk and plant people and things of the forest wouldn't be wholly anti-axe. I, I don't think they're anti-axers necessarily. Now certainly um, they might be axe resistant in many circumstances, but a lot of sustainable forestry practices would be much more conducive with axing, like removing diseased wood, uh, removing uh, standing dead wood, removing fire hazards, establishing fire breaks, uh, so on and so forth. Uh, axes come in super handy for that. It's what they're for, pretty much. I absolutely believe a ranger would believably carry a hand axe as a weapon. Or maybe even one of the rare native people leg axes. The legend amongst rangers of the forest is of an old orc tribe that famously used butt axes by tucking the axes into uh, their cheeks and swinging downward from behind using hip thrusts to chop firewood. Feel free to steal that lore for your campaign. 
So this was going pretty well for a grayscale painting. Certainly most of the previous painting I did of the Will-O-Wisps from Critical Role Campaign 2 was primarily done in grayscale. Uh, but this needed a little bit something extra. It needed a touch of color. I based the bark texture on the giant redwood trees from California. So I added a really nice reddish color to help bring that idea to this illustration. Really bring in the tree-ishness of the woodwode. Gosh, that's fun to say. Woodwode. 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 On top of that, I also added a touch of bright green kind of mossy texture in a few places uh, to give the idea that this is like maybe not a young individual. Really make it part of its environment. You know, just a little bit of variation. And then of course you need an itty bitty amount of yellow and blue for that axe to make sure it's not so flat against the rest of the Woodwoad. And here is the final results for our illustration of the Woodwoad as decided by the dice. Thanks for sticking around. Come back in two days time to see what the dice will have me draw for a random item and have a super duper Christmas. Roll up!